everybody, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another swatch video. And today's swatch video is going to be on the Tardis Pro Tarte Palette. I'm so excited. I just got this in the mail today and I cannot wait to do a look with this. So I already have my um, foundation and everything done. So after I do these swatches for you guys, I'm going to create a look with this. I'm so excited. This has a ginormous mirror. Like, it's the size of this. So it's so gorgeous. It'd be perfect to do your makeup on when, you know, when you don't have a mirror right beside you. <clears throat> and then, of course, in um, typical Tarte fashion, um, based on the other Tarte palette that I have. I only own one other Tarte palette, and it is the Tarte Lip Palette. It has the gold, you know, gold packaging on the inside, too. The reflecting in the back is like that, too, on the Tarte Lip, as well as on here. So it has all the gold. I think these colors are absolutely stunning. And when I first saw this palette, I really didn't want it. And the more that I've seen swatches and seen the groups of them together in swatches, the more I have wanted it. Because when you put all, all these colors can go together and all these colors can go together and all these and all these. And I like the way the Tarte does that because it helps group the different colors because I'm not a makeup professional by any means. So it's really nice to know what colors will all go together. And then these uh, this side over here is supposed to be the duochrome ones. And I do believe from what I've heard is this one's the only duochrome one. But either way, they're all these are the shiny metallic-y ones and the rest of them are matte. And I think that's a really good combination of these because then you have mattes that'll go with your with your metallic -y shimmer color so I think that's a really good idea I, I think this palette is absolutely stunning so if you guys want to see the swatches I am actually going to do these swatches by row so all of these including the metallic that's at the end are all going to be on the same swatch so the swatches of this will be in the rows of five and you guys will see that when I do it and then I will take a picture of course and add that so you guys can see the pictures as well so you can see what it looks like without flash and with flash so if you guys are excited to see these swatches go ahead and keep watching okay so the first row the first color is called classic and these are all the matte colors first very pigmented and you can actually see it. it's really pretty I thought that was gonna be too light to show up but you can see it the next color in this row is called innocent and it's like a peach looking color. Ooh. I'm liking this so far. That's awesome. Okay. And then the next color is called Whimsy. And it looks like an orange. Burnt orange. Dark orange. Darker orange color. I am so blown away by this. Like I expected. I did not expect this to be as good as it is. Um, the next color is called Smoked. So even more excited. This one feels more dry than the other ones did. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I mean, it's it looks good like the other ones do too, so I don't know. And then the very last color for this row is the metallic-y one, and it is called Ethereal. <clears throat> Stunning little combo there. And like I said, I'll have colors or the pictures right after this with the flash and no flash. So you guys can see that. And then we'll get on to the next row. Okay, so, so far that was really awesome. That is a very like neutral row kind of. It's like a little bit more than neutral, but it's kind of like a fall row to me. I kind of like it. It's really pretty. So this next one seems like it's going to be like a more neutral uh, row. And then the next one after that kind of seems like it's a like burgundy type of row. And the other one seems like it's a pop of crazy color row. So I really like how they separated these out. Anyways, you guys are here for the swatches. So next is called Vintage. And it looks like a white. <clears throat> because it looks different. Like that first one on the other row was a cream and this one's more like white. The next color is called Fierce. Ooh. And it looks like a grayish purple. 
so that's what that one looks like that one looks like it'd be a really pretty pretty contour for like someone super pale like myself Ooh, the next one's called no filter I might have to try it as a contour right here and this looks like a like a brownish purplish color purplish color yeah purplish mauvey color so pretty I'm super blown away by this palette already. I didn't even expect it to be as great as it is. The next one's called Vamp. And for some reason, this one is feels more dry than the rest, just like the smoked one did. And this one's called Vamp. So maybe it's the darker colors that are feeling drier to me. But I mean, they are still blending out and being super pigmented anyways. So they're super gorgeous still. <laughs> Love it. And then the next one is the metallic -y color for this row and it's called glam this palette reminds me of one of my um, unique palettes that I got I'll definitely have to show you guys the swatches of those because this reminds me of one of the ones that I have and I can't remember which one it was because I think I have one two and three so I have to show you guys so like I said pictures flash no flash and then we'll do the next row Okay, so the next row, the first color in this next, the third row is Chic. And it is a pale pink. It's more like a peachy color though. It's like a peachy, kind of tan looking color on the skin. The next color is called Profesh and it is a, like a grayish purplish color. That looks like it would make a really pretty contour for very pale skin, like myself. So I'll have to try that out as a contour. That'll be really pretty. And then the next color in that row is called Mod, and it is a pink, like a pinky cranberry. Yeah, but not quite like a red. It's like a cranberry, but not the red part of a cranberry, like like a pinky, pink, just a pinky. <laughs> You guys will see in the pictures, but it's like a, kind of like a dark pink, kind of a red. I can't really tell. <laughs> the next color is called Drama, and it is super dry too, like the other ones were, like the other two, but it is a dark purple. So there's those. And then the very last color in that row is called Minx. And it is a purple duochrome, or a purple with a pink over, like a duochromosity to it. But the shift is pink. It's like a purple under and then shift to pink, pinky gold. And you guys will see those in the pictures coming up. Okay, and so the last row, the first color is called Indie, and it looks like a pale gray. There's that one. The next one is called Bold, and it looks like a lovely little tan, like a light, light brown tan. Ooh, ooh, that's a pretty color. Perfect. for a, It'll be perfect for a transition shade. I think and then we have edgy which is a like dark brown like this looks really cool and then the last color the last matte color in this row is called punk and it's super dry I wonder if it's yeah I'm, I'm thinking it's just the it's all the dark ones in this little row right here all those seem drier than the rest to me but they still work really really well to me okay and I had already filmed this before and the first time I filmed this that was actually super patchy but this time it seems to be going on a little smoother it is not as pigmented as the others but I do like that about that because when I'm using a black I like to build it up 
to where I want it. So if it's like this, it's it starts out more of like a smoky color and you can kind of blend it out even more to make it a little more smokier, if that makes sense. Um, so I do like the, the way this one is. <clears throat> we'll have to see how it works on the eyes. And then the very last color of this palette is called Trendy. And it is a duo chrome that reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Lounge. Yeah. And that last duo chrome one right there reminds me of the Urban Decay Lounge. Do you see the brown and green shift? So cool. I love it. Okay, so there is the video of the 20 colors in this beautiful, gorgeous palette. If you guys would like to see me do a look with any of this particular rose or anything, definitely let me know. Like I said, they kind of go in order of the rose. You'll see, what, like, that's how I did the swatches so you guys could see them. Um, if you guys want to give me a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. I love to know what kind of videos you guys like. And I like sharing the different swatch videos with you guys. So if you guys enjoy those, definitely give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I have a giveaway going on right now and I ha always have a giveaway going on, but I have some really cool giveaways coming up soon. Um, and then comment down below. Let me know which row was your favorite, what color you thought was the prettiest, if you guys would like to see a look from this, if you guys have this palette, if you don't, if you like it, if you don't, anything you want to say, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!